Hello everyone, RPG Penguin here, and welcome to a game that Itch recommended to me at 3 a.m. <laughs> um, so I was like looking through my phone, you know, going through itch.io games, seeing which one I should record, and I found this one, uh, funnily enough at 3 a.m. So I think that we should start the Anglerfish Project, a fishing simulator in space, or so I've read from the description. Since I was a child, I always dreamt about reaching the stars. Back on Earth, I used to meet a friend at the lighthouse. He was keeping and look at the stars together. Just the same way, we're looking at them now. And among cars and whiskey, from time to time, I looked up and asked myself, what's happening out there? Funny that my job now consists in finding that out, or better put, helping the Foundation find that out. But hey, I'm here. Alone, but not lonely. After all, I have the entire universe to listen to. And I have you to listen to me. Were you like that robot thing to the left of, uh, Padraig? Padraig notices a buzz in his right ear. He first hears the static. And then there is a voice. Overseer. Welcome to your first day on the Anglerfish Project. I see you've already attached the probe to your fishing rod. That's great news. It seems you already... It seems that you already know each other, but I feel I must do the proper thing and introduce you both. Padraig, the probe you attached is called Paul. Paul, this is Padraig. You both make a team. Without Paul, you won't be able to see anything in the sky, so be careful and look after him. You don't want to lose him. Padraig, you are the angler. You will cast Paul into space and he will receive and decode all the interesting data that's floating around you. That's why you are here, to crawl space. That's what you signed up for, I hope. Otherwise, you should probably get another job, to help the Foundation keep it safe. Whoa, I can control the, the POV. Can I zoom in? Zoom out? No. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of stuff around here, actually. Ooh. You bring light into the darkness. That's what the Angler Project is about. And now I need to make sure that your equipment works correctly. So here, let me do a bit of a tutorial here. I need you to throw Paul into, into the areas of space where there are some kinds of alteration, such as the glowing blue suns, the glowing orange suns, the asteroid belt, that random crate over there. Different people see these areas differently. So I cannot give you a proper description, but you should recognize them immediately when you see them. Some refer to them as big, bright, trembling patches. That's your catch. I will be tracking all these transmissions and will reach out to you whenever I think it is necessary or if I need something specific from you. Talk to you later, Angler. Okay. Right click to aim. Oh, it's that stuff. Yolt! Oh. Hold and release. Yolt! Oh, you lost, Paul. Be careful with any surfaces that may have been in the way when launching a probe. If something gets in that way, you'll likely lose Paul. Most of the time, he'll be rolling around your asteroid, though, so feel free to catch him if you want. However, if you don't have patience, you can always request a new one. <laughs> Using a machine in front of your tent. All of a sudden, you reach your campsite if you get lost. No store near the previous Paul you once had will be incinerated remotely. It's security guarantee we decided to implement. Your choice, though. I'll see you around, Engler. We can't, we can't lose Paul. Alright, so Paul. Paul. Here's my campsite. Uh, request probe. Where? Paul? Paul? Paul! Also, how am I surviving up here with no helmet or anything? Oh, this is so weird. Um. Chad, I think Paul's dead. Let's just skip Paul, too. Class accepted. Setting incineration single old device. Ah. Uh, ooh. Eee. We don't like that. Request 
Probe unavailable. Reason found close by. Huh? Does that mean that this is the original Paul? Because it was close by? Huh. So here's a campsite, so I can do a sleep. But I gotta figure out how this aiming system works. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, is it... Is it that bar is, like, where I would be shooting? So if I hit there, I would go in? Yes! Alright, cool. So that is my angle that I'm shooting into. I thought I was trying to aim for that middle line. Uh, I guess I am not. Alright, signal. Uh, probe, stable, run to cipher. Okay, now Paul's in position. You must help him decipher the information. Once you've done it, the message will play immediately. Okay, so continue. Continue. Oh, I'm supposed to click when there's an irregularity? It's like, ah, no. So, here. There we go. Alright, success. This is the first data package we discovered together from Paul. Huh, alright. Foundation sent a <laughs> test message. Great. Okay, I see you got the message. Your equipment seems working fine. Tell me, did you like the message? Sorry, don't reply back. It's a one-directional channel only. Uh, we have reasons to be this way. I said it for you to think of an answer. I know mine. I don't like it. I told the guys, hey, put something funny. But no, they didn't want to. Instead, we just got tests. Can you believe it? Even Hello World would be better. Or, I don't know, Hello Universe? Isn't it better? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. You're gonna go. The task is simple. Keep doing what you've just done, and I'll hop in when I consider necessary. Don't worry. I'll be monitoring you closely. I'll eventually read everything you've downloaded, and I'll call you when I consider it necessary. If things get too confusing or boring, remember a motto. We help the people. It helps me. Talk to you later, Wrangler. Okay. I have switched the game to full screen, because it was, um, out of frame a few times. So I think, let's continue, and let's look around for, I guess, the next data. I can't request another probe because it's too close by. I see. Uh, looking in the space, I can't really find anything. And I run without... Alright, cool. Ah, there we go. That is a bit tricky to hit. Alright, let's see. At least there. <laughs> okay, you've tested the probe well enough, but you've only committed a small mistake. There's nothing interesting where the probe is. You need to place the probe into space-time alterations that you will find around the rock you're standing on. You'll have to cast Paul into these areas to be able to decipher the transcriptions they contain. Paul can only gather transmissions within these areas. Everything else is silent. And, by the way, try not to stare into these areas for too long. I've heard the bad for your eyes. See you around, Angler. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's happening. Uh, it's, it's probably fine, I'm sure of it. Alright, so I guess I gotta go... It is time-based. I gotta hit that, like, proper timing. Great. Run, this, uh, run the probe decipher. Alright, uh, let's continue here. Right, flip in the middle. I missed. There we go. I think we are a great team, Paul. You know, Paul 2 is much better than Paul 1. I have no emotional attachment to Paul 1, but in Paul 2, I have an emotional attachment to. <laughs> uh, downloading. Public broadcast. Public broadcast. All machinery within synthetic souls are no longer considered safe. If you have any machinery of this kind, please bring it to the closest disposal center. I'll repeat it. Synthetic souls are no longer safe. They're an enemy of the Foundation, and they're considered illegal weapons from now on. Oh dang, Paul's a weapon. Rip. Okay, look at that weapon. Such a spooky weapon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good catch, Angler. That message was completely useless, but I see you're getting the hang of it. Soon you'll be able to do some real work. By the way, regarding this being a one-directional channel, I hope you're not too sad about it, but I must explain, so listen well. It's very important that you realize that I'm not your friend, but Paul can be. I want to say it again, so it's clear between us, even though I'm friendly, I can't be your friend. Do you feel lonely? Don't talk to me. Talk to Paul. Do you miss Earth? Don't talk to me. Talk to Paul. I don't want to deal with your drama. Just talk to Paul. It's a robot. Sure, it's a weapon, synthetic soul and all, but just talk to Paul. Are you afraid of the future? Don't talk to me. Just Paul. And please don't expect an answer. It's a machine. 
and a very dumb one, by the way, I, but I assure you, he looks in deeply and will care very much about you. Just don't expect an answer, okay? Good? Well, that's clear. I'm sorry for that. It's the worst part of this job, you know, telling you and the others that they don't, well, you know, it's not an easy task. I'll talk, talk to you later, Angler. Just, uh, Droid works so far. Keep going. Upset. And... Okay, so I guess I have to... That really feels like that won't hit the mark. Unless I do, like, maybe... That? Perfect! Yes! <laughs> Signal three? Oh, Alright. Well, continue. Okay, and there we go. This is fun. Let's see what it says from Paul. Advertisement. The most humane food ever. Tastes like chicken, but has no actual chicken. The favorite of the Foundation employees. Try it out. We're just getting spammed in space. I thought I'd be fishing more. Oh. Sorry, Paul. Uh, woo. Yeet. Oh. Oh, no. Say goodbye to Paul. He's never going back. Next time, be careful not to cast him with all your strength. You are aiming at an alteration. The cable can break. You're sending, you're sending Paul to the other side of the cosmos forever. I don't know how much he bonded, but I suggest a minute of silence in his memory. Well, I think that counts a minute if we put a bit of imagination into it, don't you think? Don't worry, that Paul's gone forever, but you can risk a new one on your face. Uh, <laughs> this is upsetting. Uh, follow the sun to reach your campsite if you get lost. A new Paul will be born inside the machine for the resources of the asteroid you're standing on. He could become a partner. It won't be the same Paul you bonded with, but it will be Paul nonetheless, and you'll discover again that he is very nice. That said, you know what's not nice? Sending Paul in outer space. That's mean, and expensive, and old Paul won't forgive you. So please, don't do that again, that's a new one. He wouldn't do it to you. No! Paul! It is kind of hard to aim. <laughs> I'm guessing there may be like a secret ending or something if I just never lose a Paul. That seems ridiculously hard though. So, ah, uh, boy. Yeah, let's get, let's get another Paul. At least he gets incinerated in the middle of space. Hi, Paul. Uh, don't tell him what happened to the other one. Okay. And throw. That should go in. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we did it. Let us run the thing. So, one, two. There we go. This is the first data package we discovered together. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna loop dialogue. Uh oh. Intercepted CCTV. Mommy, mommy, let's play hide and seek. Again? Aren't you tired already? No, I want more. Okay, one last time. But after that, you're gonna shower and we're gonna have dinner. Understood? Okay. Um. <clears throat> you're getting hate it. I see you're getting the hang of it. I think you're ready for a more important line of work. Listen, there's a situation our agents are in the dark. We need your help. You shouldn't worry about the details. The only thing you need to know is that a legal group has stolen important cargo. We're vague about it because we don't want to give too much information. We don't have too much information. We want to, cr like, sort of bend the line there. The, the cargo may or may not contain illegal weapons, like Paul, and we don't know where they are. We need a transmission that contains the coordinates so we can extract the cargo safely. They're using encrypted communications, and I think, and they think they're safe. But your probe should be able to break through to them. I'm gonna expand the frequency ranger probe so you can access real data now. Give me one second. And it's done! You should be able to see more interesting packages now. The messages are going to be encrypted and won't be easy to decipher as the other ones, but I know you'll handle it well. Good luck, Angler. I am. Ah, uh, maybe I gotta get, like, this position. Which make it a lot easier for me to send it to there. Yes! Alright, cool. Good signal, good signal. Alright, let's go. One. Break lock, break lock, break lock, break lock. Um. Ah! I see. So I wait for it to be, um... On it. <sighs> okay. Here's that radio. Okay, we got the cargo. And it's full of souls. What do we do now? You said in your plan that we should be leaving through this highway. 
that is completely locked down now. If we had followed my plan, we'd be safe now. There's the transporting poles. Oh my. Hello. What the heck? That one's a different color. One. Hello. Can you read this? It's me, Yoga. Oh, I've seen you found an anomaly! Oh. That's something I haven't warned you about. Um, there are some regions of space they can cast a probe in that are uh, a bit different. Uh, the probe's a pretty good job blocking them, but sometimes you may find some distressing things. Things that shouldn't be there. Uh, they can crack space if you manipulate them too often. But don't worry too much, they aren't common and the cracks will heal in due time. They are causing permanent damage. However, you shouldn't cast your probe in there. There's nothing useful for us. Uh, try other more productive spots next time. See you around, Angler. I, I, but I want, I want more. <laughs> I want more space snakes. <laughs> this looks like a space snake. Oh, all right. It's gonna be a hard one hit. There we go. Yes. All right. We got him. One. Oh. I had not noticed that one. There we go. Break lock. Oh, that was quick. Hoo -hoo! Hey, Padre! Thank you for handling me with care. There's animals, the, the fish, the vegetables, and now they've taken us. To a nice place. I'm gonna look for another space time anomaly. I don't know. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let's hit a hole in space time. Woo! That was close. <laughs> um. One. I missed the dialogue. No. Madrick, is that you? It's been a long time. Do you still remember me? You used to be in my lighthouse to play cards and look at the stars. Break the space. Yes! Yo! We can break more space! There's probably multiple endings to this game. Um, this is gonna be an easy one to hit. Almost overshot. Good job, partner! You're the best angler I've met! We lost our. What the? We lost our sea. Are you lost too, Padre? Did you lose everything? Is that the real reason you're here? Is it my fault you're here? Space snake! <laughs> Alright. Okay. And go. Whew, a bit high. <laughs> okay, one. Not a bad one. Cool. I'm expecting this to go... Whew. Do you think level? Do you think we'll be able to work together forever? Well, not if I accidentally lose you in space. This is really a lot of pressure. I'm just radio. Safe? Oh wait, no. This is safe. You cannot be safe driving a thousand miles through the desert without enough fuel. We, we can't hide there for months without food or water until things calm down. We can all already be dead by the time we can be extracted. That was not a plan. That was suicide. Okay. Ooh. Is that, is that, that looks slightly anomalous. That looks slightly, yeah, that looks slightly anomalous. I'm just gonna... Go for it. This <laughs> is stress. One, two. Oh, one. And two. Break lock. It's getting easy. So, our sea, our resources, our life. Oh, uh, they are. Uh, e oh, the foundation. Oh, I, oh, ah. That's so many blanks. You're not giving me information there. Hey. 
Oh, that's a really bad signal. Oh, is it the worst signal the less information I get? That could be the case. Let's see, because this is awful signal, so I could just... Great job. Those are your words, not mine. Trying to drive through a blocked highway is riskier than going low profile. We're in the middle of Lumia Sector 02. <laughs> okay, just, uh, hey, you heard that, Foundation? Get him. On a massive ship with barely you know how to drive with two suicidal options to choose from. We're loaded with what they call now illegal weapons. That's why it's so hard to keep to acknowledge them as sentient. And why is it so hard to acknowledge them as sentient? Look, I'm sorry, but please tell us what do we do now? Ah, right, that's what we needed. In the middle of Lumina, Lumina D2 sector, we got it. Sentient beings? These guys are delusional. Mm. Mm. I feel like that is a false statement. That was that was a very first that was a first job. Very well done. Good job, Angler. I'm glad you're with us. You can rest a bit if you want to. You earned it. But if you keep going at it, I won't be the one stopping you. I'll contact you later. Can I find an anomaly before I rest? Yes, yes I can. Alright. Alright. Cypher cool, middle one. Well the best team. I'll start a loop dialogue now so I don't feel all too spooked. <laughs> or all too upset. Listen to mommy, okay? We're going to play hide and seek. And we're a team. I'm gonna help you hide in your and then it's gonna be my turn. Oh wait. I don't think they're playing a game, I think they're being hunted. There's an anomaly, heck yeah. Middle, perfect. Yo, very good signal there. I just, I just guessed that was gonna be there. All right, let's cause more space snake. Hmm. Okay, this is a hard one. Okay, that last one is getting me. Ah, <laughs> why is this so hard? Okay, uh, I gotta get the lore. G give me the lore. It has a bit of like a delay when it touches the object. Yes! Oh! Okay, I can't believe we've seen 10 packages already. I'm sending you a present, Patrick. I'm gonna give you the real thing. The Foundation won't like it. But I'm sure you'll forgive me after all these years. It's a new pro. Unlocked. No more censorship. I'm gonna burn this one up. Oh, and go and get you a new one. Your Pope Terminal should be working slightly differently now. Go try it out. Cheers, your friend Yogan. Angler, I don't know what you're doing, but stop doing it. The readings meeting aren't normal. What are you doing? I can't reach your movements anymore. I know there are way more anomalies than there should be. You should be avoiding all the anomalies you can from now on. They're dangerous, and you shouldn't be surrounded by so many. Uh, your probe is probably malfunctioning. I, I know it's going to be hard for you, but I, I have to ask you for a new one. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's go get the real Paul. And we are back. So that was, uh, took a bit. Uh, but we are now back. So I do believe that I can take a rest. And now let's see. Uh, since this is the newer version of Paul. So, Paul, you can understand me, right? Is that it? Yes? And what does no sound like? I see. Look, I'm a bit worried about these cracks that are appearing everywhere. Do you think they are truly dangerous? So are you saying that we shouldn't grab any information from them? <laughs> Thank you, Spell. We're in together then. There we go. Uh, Alright. And we're back. 
Okay, this is gonna. <laughs> these triangle ones are difficult. This is what the. For what? What am I doing here? S. Saint data package. We discovered together. Oh, it's. This is the fur blank st data package we discovered together. But they're really asking, what am I doing here? This is it. Oh yeah, and unedited. Unedited. Oh, it's giving me the same thing, but unedited. This is it? Is this how it goes? They come in and drain our sea, our resources, our life, and, and then they leave? And we can't do anything about it because it's going to be too good for us? How's it going to be good for us? Exactly. They're killing us. You have to leave in the foundation. If they say it's good, I'll believe them. Can you get me a... Wait, oh, this is a different person. You have to believe in, that, in the foundation. If they say it's good, I'll believe them. Can you get me that sandwich from there, over there, please? A sandwich? Are you for real? That drag, uh, stop that. Stop guessing your pro. There's something that is very wrong. Did you do something to your pro? I, I read here you're accessing data you're not supposed to. Uh, are you really the person that you said you were? I'm starting to have my doubts about you. If you are with us, you won't cast any your probe anymore. You hear me? We'll fix the situation on our side. Talk to Paul. Get to know each other a bit better. Tell him how life on Earth was. Keep yourself busy without throwing your probe into space. If you want to be merry, I'll, I'll reach out to you later. Um, actually, no. Uh, I, I refuse to do that. Let's get some unedited data. Perfect. Heck yeah. <laughs> that didn't seem perfect, even though I hit that thing pretty well. Where's the rest of me? What is the foundation? You can see them everywhere, but what are they? A company? A government? I don't know anymore. When I hear people talking about it, they refer to it more like... like a god. It sounds more like organized crime to me. We help the people. More like, we help ourselves. Oh dang! Oh dang! Getting absolutely toastered here. Alright, uh... Oh, that's gonna be a hard shot to make. Oh, hold on, never mind. I am a lot closer now. We are, oh, almost perfectly in. We went a bit farther. Alright, uh, continue. Get one bloop, two bloop. Get one, and two. This, this is fun. Alright, is it always so dark out here? There's nothing left. They took everything. The animals, the fish, the vegetables, and, and now they've taken us all, too. I think there's only a few of us left. Where are they bringing us? I doubt they're bringing us to a nice place. Does anyone know anything about it? The foundation can't be... Jorgen. Uh... The foundation contacted you already? They must have, or they will soon. They don't like it, do they? The foundation doesn't exist where I'm from. So it's great. I'm free now. I took liberty of turning your new probe so I could listen better in to what the Foundation is actually doing. As for your sake, Patrick, you deserve to know. They don't like it because you can see what they're doing. You're starting to know too much about them, Patrick. Everyone, everything and everybody has a price tag. You too, I think, I'm start and I think you're starting to become expensive. Ooh, corrupted message. Yes. Space time rift. Space time rift. All right. Okay, one. And there we go. Why can't I move by myself? Why have you... With a mirror. Why have you trimmed your beard? You don't like it? God, no. Well, I, I don't want to be mean, but... Have you lost your mind? <laughs> All right. I'll never cut it short, I promise. It's two people talking. <gasps> Sky Snake. I think it deleted the other uh, distortions, unfortunately. Because uh, I logged out. <laughs> so there should be... Where are the red ones? Is there only this now blue one? Should I miss one? Because I went for the distortion? I may have done that. Oh, hold on. No, there it is. There it is. Nice, red one. We like red boys. I think this is like messages we've already read, but now are different. Okay, so, yeah, looking at the thing, it tells us how far we need to go. 
So like going a bit short is better. Because we're not gonna lose that guy. I'm sorry to I don't know how long I'm in this game, but I'm sorry to understand it now with the mechanics of that. That's like a power reel. There we go. Shoot, I missed the dialogue. So mommy, okay? We're going to play hide and seek now, and we're a great team. I'm gonna help you hide now, and then it's gonna be my turn. So people are gonna come by uh, come now, but you can't make a noise. Or then you'll be caught and we'll lose. Do you understand? Well, my prediction was right. Which is very concerning. Yes, okay. Enter here and remember, not a single noise. We're gonna win. Now it's my turn. I'll come to you when I know we've won. Until then, stay still, my love. They may not understand you, but there's nothing wrong with you. I love you. Yep. I don't like my prediction was right. But it was. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, so they're basically hunting I'm gonna guess that that is a synthetic, um, one of, like, the synthetic souls things. Um, and if you, if you want to really read that middle dialogue, you can pause the video at that point, I suppose. Okay. Oh my. That is a ma That is a huge distortion! Uh-oh. 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 No, no. Fall back. Cool. Got Paul. So I can't do way too short, but it's better to do short than long. Okay. Massive sky distortion. What? How do I hit that signal? That is a hard one to hit. Oh uh, boy. This is unfortunate. Time for a new probe. Is this... Is this a, like an actual sentient pole or did I lose that entire option? If I lost that, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> um, okay. Big space-time distortion. Let's try to throw it from here. Um, that was a perfect distance. That's what it said to shoot at. It's like... Okay, there we go. Let's see. Do, does this one still have sentience, or am I just screwed? That doesn't look good. Oh, it is sentient. Nice. Uh, what am I doing here? Although, I did lose the dialogue. Thank you. I'll look after it. Of course, you'll look after it. Uh, of course you'll look after it. It's your boat now. You'll want to look after it if you want to make a living out of it. Yeah. Space distortion? Yes, space snake. Alright. That one is far away. So I'm guessing, like, middle of my screen is... There we go. Uh, where's the rest of me? Yep, same thing. SOS, last three seconds recorded. Hey, love, have you seen my charger? I'm about to shut down. Honey, why are you looking at me like that? What have I done? Something wrong? Why are you trying tying me down? Please say something. Please don't go. Don't leave me here like this. Mmm, because robots are sentient, and this would be a. This could. There's so obviously there's repeating dialogue because I had to close the game and come back. Alright. Oh my gosh. This dialogue. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm getting the new, like, this stuff, but the dialogue is kind of the same. Let's be a bit slow on. There we go. Nice signal. Perfect. Break lock. Perfect. It's always so dark out here. Come on, come on, Patrick. I've already set up the, t all the table and cards and everything. It's all there waiting for us. Let's open that nice bottle you bought me for my birthday. If we're lucky, it'll last longer than tonight. <laughs> Maybe we can spot those weird circles in the sky tonight, too. I'm sure they're trying to say something. Thank you, listen, listen well. Now, I don't know what's going on, and I don't like it at all. So I'm going to tell you what we have to do, and you are going to do it. You're going to stop casting a little probe into the spatial regions of these anomalies. That's the mirror you're playing with. The mirrors can break. All our probes lock the incoming data there for a reason. You shouldn't have to know this, but to stop you from destroying everything, I'll tell you. The mirror is a full dimension of space that keeps all the memories of the universe. The memories work like a magnet. Ele emotionally charged memories will tend to be close to the person and object that experienced them. Your probe, Paul, turned to be able to attract some of those memories from their location and bring them to where he is. The foundation can tune the probe so we can see if the turns it in. 
we made it that way to keep everyone safe. Have you noticed those cracks have been appearing around you? Your actions are the cause. What you've done is break that lock somehow. I have been breaking a lot of locks. You run the risk of breaking the fabric of t that ties space and time together. Nobody wants to do that. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt and thinking that you don't want to do it either. So I'm going to propose some healthy alternatives for your mind, body, and especially for the universe. You can sit down there and talk to Paul. Actually do the job you're being paid for, which is informing us about what's going on in space. The normal alterations. Y you can also do absolutely nothing. That's, that's good. A friendly minor. You can't do what you're doing. I'm going to do more. I, I feel like it. You know? And yo! Perfect. Alright. And there you go. Let's just open up a few more rifts. What's the worst that can happen? Have you read the books I asked for Patrick? Yes, yes. Here they here they are. What did you want to do with them? They look complicated. I told you, I don't understand what these circles have to say. I think you may be wasting your time, but that's of luck with that, Yogan. Space time rift. Space time rift. Break another lock, and there we go. I wish I had legs too. <laughs> Bodrick, you should find yourself a good wife. You spend too much time with that fellow in the lighthouse. You seem to be the only one that refuses to believe he's crazy, but he is. Very much so, if you ask me. Have this, add this button on me. I'd like to see you more around here, and less around there. I'm not. Not interested, pal. It's fun, isn't it? Reading the circles, I spent a long time in my, my lighthouse deciphering the code. I code I could spot with my telescope. I did it by hand. It took a month or two to get each one right. I started to read things out myself. Things I said, things I wish I hadn't said. Things that I forgot or wanted to forget came back. And I started reading things I was going to say. And then I started seeing you and the things you were going to do. Then, I started to understand. I could modify these circles. I could also send things through. Before I noticed myself, uh, before I noticed, I set myself through. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do it until it was too late. I was experimenting. And I've been looking for you since then, Patrick. It's lonely out here without you. And what I've seen about you, I'd say it's lonely there too. There's still water here. There's seas and the earth is alive. There's life here, Patrick. So, are we thinking that he's kind of just a ghost at this point? Because if he's, like, making... If he got transported himself into these messages, and these messages are, like, an anomaly, do you think that they're probably just a ghost at this point? Please don't be too far. Please don't be too far. Cool. Nice. There we go. Break lock. Your boss is scary. Ilgen, uh, would you like to live there? There where? Among the stars. I don't think so. I love the sea too much. I love this lighthouse. I'm having living below this light. I think I would like to live there once one day, but I would have to lose everything. I have now to consider it. I hope it never happens. Well, I'm not going anywhere, pro uh, Patrick. Neither am I, then. On more more space snakes. <laughs> uh, Alright, and let's get this one. Oh, it's gonna fail. Uh, let's retrieve the probe. Let's get a bit closer to this one. Uh, Alright, light toss. Oh, that was too light. Okay, it's on the planet somewhere. Oh! I still have them. <laughs> yeah, this is like the hard ones are this. Yes, I got it! One signal. Good enough for me. There you go. I think I'm happy you're working with you. But I can find him. He must be he, he, there somewhere. Stop it. He's not coming back. It was probably in a... I, I clicked off way too quick, quick there. Yogan is gone, and your mind will be gone too unless you accept it. Here's your pint anyways. I won't serve you anymore tonight. Please, please, Padre. You've had more than enough. Memories are sad, aren't they? I wish things had turned out differently back then. 
Yeah, I think they did kind of die and become star stuff, I guess. <laughs> but I have some good news. Turns out these circles aren't only useful for receiving data. You can also send mass through them. That's yeah, a bit more complicated. I'm sure if anyone knows how to do it, really. Um, but I think we can try again. Leave the past behind and start new. I can set up a circle that can bring you where I am. Of course, if you want. But it's going to be the only way we can see each other again. Well, do the space portal! I see you didn't listen. Well, what you're doing is very dangerous. As you're not listening to me, we're coming to stop you. Padre, good news! I managed to set up a circle for you to come. You don't need to, to do anything different. You only need to cast the probe as usual, but this time, you won't be reading anything. Instead, you'll be transported to where I am. Oh, and I'm sorry, because I think someone took over communication that was already going on. I'll disconnect so you can listen to what they have to tell you. I hope I'll get you, I hope I'll get you soon. Oh, that you understand everything is that's at stake. Will you still do it? I'm sure I don't need to repeat it again to you. Please, Padre, do the right thing. Space portal! Space portal! Space portal! Oh, oh no, oh no. It's, it's this thing. It's like one more step on this thing. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get caught. If this sounds like a timer, I am so gonna get caught. <laughs> that was wow <laughs> it's getting easy do you think this will be Yogan again welcome Patrick hears a roar the sound of another universe breaking apart silence follows he doubts and then he starts to feel the sea breeze the splashes of seawater on his skin. The smell of slightly charred home-baked cookies. We have a lot to talk about, my friend. The stars are looking bright tonight. He smiles. And then they cry. <sighs> oh yeah, we did just destroy the universe, didn't we?